Hey guys, Paul Salmon here. So on the ongoing saga of Magneto <coughs> dysfunction and failure, uh, the other day Megan was in the aircraft, was in the R44, and had uh, had the governor on, roll the throttle up, and noticed that the, the RPMs were surging very erratically. It would come up, tend to overspeed, and then it would underspeed. So luckily she uh, just shut the aircraft off and um, notified Dean and we took a look at it. But believe it or not, that was a magneto problem, right? And for those of you that are unaware of it, the right magneto is what uh, supplies the uh, pickup for uh, running the governor and the tachometer. So there's one set of points inside the uh, right magneto that is used to fire the engine off. The other set of points is used to supply the tachometer and the governor with their impulses to control the RPMs of the aircraft. If those points on the side that control the tack and the governor are not functioning correctly, you can have some very erratic uh, movement and, er and very erratic uh, governor uh, function as well. So let's take a quick look at that video and I'll show you what she found there. Okay, so you can see that the uh, RPMs uh, were obviously surging, you know, both up and down. So she, again, she shut the aircraft down. So at that point, <clears throat> we pulled the right mag off, and um, Dean actually put a new set of points on the uh, uh, right mag on the pickup side that runs the governor and the uh, tachometer. But let me show you just exactly what we found after we got the um, the magneto reassembled again. So here's the set of points I took out. And the reason I had to take them out because they weren't opening for the tack to operate the tack because the cam follower was worn, it had gotten hot and worn down. And so, um, took those out, installed the new one, and I got to look in the, the screw that holds the points in was touching the screw that holds the points together. <laughs> and I got to look in the difference between the two. Yeah. This one has a real thin washer. That one has a thin washer and a real thick washer. Huh. That thick washer is not supposed to be there. That's See crazy. that in there? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. No doubt. So now I get to take that apart and get the washer off. Try again. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just a few extra hours. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> The magneto points were assembled incorrectly, obviously, at the factory when the things were made. They had the wrong washers in the wrong positions on the points, which would then, when the points are installed into the magneto, would ground out and prevent the uh, points from uh, working correctly. So, you know, you got to think, what in the world? Can you guys not have a little better quality control on manufacturing? But... Uh, Okay, so lessons to be learned. What do we learn from this? Well, if you notice that your tachometer is surging, uh, whether in flight, hopefully you catch it before you get in flight, and we did made a comment that this, um, before this was found and the surging occurred, that she noticed that the, uh, on the engine side of the tach, a couple times the needle did, did sort of bounce erratically a few times, but only for a second or two and that was it. So that may be your warning sign. If you're flying an aircraft, and your tachometer, you're looking at your tach, and on the engine side it appears to be bouncing and stuff as you roll up or roll down, it's acting erratically, it needs to be checked because you may indeed have a right magneto problem uh, that's uh, causing the issue and could be uh, quite an issue if it occurs in flight and the, and the governor is surging erratically, you know, at that point you want to turn your governor off, fly the aircraft with uh, actually you probably, if you'd lost the tachometer on the engine side as well, then you'd have to use a rotor side tack to uh, fly the aircraft with, which is easily done if you catch it quick enough. Okay, so. So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and I hope you found the video informative, and we'll see you on the next video.